Today, we're diving into the chaotic world of Minecraft knockoff games. Yep, we're about to see what happens when other games try to capture that Minecraft magic. Will these games be any good, or are we looking at a massive fail? Like digging straight down into lava fail. It's gonna be a wild ride. And hey, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, because if you don't, this creeper is going to spawn at the bottom of your bed tonight. You've been warned. The first game we're gonna play today is called Craft World. Sounds like Minecraft, but does it look like it? Let's see, shall we? Oh, we can have skins? All right, well, we can only have two right now. We've got Steven the Survivor, which is meant to be Steve. And we've also got Sandy the Survivor. She's got purple hair. You know what? I'm gonna go for her. Let's create a new world. We're gonna call it Yami's World. Standard generate. Oh, we could do different generation types. Standard island, flat world, snow tundra, or high mountains. Let's just go for standard. I wanna see what the baseline is for this game. We're in, I think. Oh yes, we are. Why do I have a sausage arm? Can we run? Oh my gosh, we can. Super sausage, <laughs> super sausage speed. Oh, this is laggy, girl. What is happening? This is so weird. What the heck? Why can we jump so far? Let's try mining a tree. Is that the right terminology? Let's try chopping down a tree. What? I wiggled my sausage and the tree fell down. This is so weird. What the heck? Why is it so easy to chop down a tree? Look at the blocks. They're having a dance party. Okay, so what can we do with the wood? Can we craft? Oh, we can make furniture. Yes. Why is there more options than on Minecraft though? Table flower. Cute little plant on the table in a clay pot. What table? I need to make some of these. These look amazing. Why am I low-key impressed? though. How do I make things? That's what I want to know. Oh, I can fly? Well, this is adding a whole new element to this game, considering this is survival mode. Let's check out the landscape, shall we? Oh, water. What happens when we go into it? So we can swim. It's pretty cool. The water sound effect is so weird. Can I build? Oh, I can. I like how when you chop a tree down, you don't have to make it into planks. It already just is. Should I build myself a little house? Why am I kind of having fun though? That's the most concerning part for me. I love how I just wiggle my sausage and the tree falls down. I think that's the weirdest thing I've ever said. Let's get all of the wood. I need to finish this house. The repetitive sounds are driving me insane. What the heck, third person? What is going on? How did I even do that? Oh, look, my house is coming along nicely. For a free alternative to Minecraft, this actually isn't that bad. Ta-da! The shell to my house is complete. Now I need to decorate it. But how? How do I craft? I want this. How do I get it though? It's called Craft World, but I can't actually see how to craft anything. Look at all the cute foods. Wait a second, what the heck is that? A rotten chicken, ew. But you can also get beans. So this game is immediately a win. Oh, crafting bench, but how do I make it? There is no way they've named this game Craft World and then you can't actually craft anything. That would be crazy, right? I don't get it. <laughs> how are you meant to do this? I'm stuck in the floor right now. What is going on? Is she crouching? What is happening to my character? Why is she in the ground? Girl, oh, oh no. She she is literally underground right now. Oh no, what is happening? No, I don't wanna watch ads. I'm stuck underwater now. This is my life. Yeah, I actually can't get out. I am trapped. Why? How did this happen to me? What is going on? Okay, I think that's where I'm gonna leave this game. Overall, I'd probably give this a two out of five. The next game we're gonna play is called Mine 3D Craft. Now, hopefully there is actually crafting in this game. Talk about taking inspiration from Minecraft. They've literally taken the start menu. I think this is just like a creative mode. It is, oh my gosh. This is taking me back to the Minecraft alpha days where all you could do was place blocks and break blocks. Is that literally what this is. I think it is. Okay, let's see what items we can get in this game. Everything is pretty much locked and you have to watch adverts to unlock them. And even then, there's not much of a selection. Think about all of the blocks that we have in Minecraft and then this is all we get in Mine 3D Craft. That's pretty crazy. I can't even get wooden planks to build a house. Right. Well, can I mine them? No, because they break. Game creator really wants me to watch some ads. Look, it's even forced me to watch an ad. Why can I not look down? Oh my gosh, the camera is so weird in this game. Also, I can't fly. It's like creative mode and survival mode in one. 
And it has some Minecraft music in the background. Is this the edge of the world already? What? How small is this game? There's no procedural generation. It literally just ends. You can't even jump off the edge. This must be a really, really small map. I mean, there's no biomes really. We have the desert and we also have the plains, but that's it. Where's the jungle at? Come on, the jungle biome is like one of the most basic ones. We don't even have that. They really put the effort in with this game. I wanna know, do we even have lava? Cause it doesn't look like we've got water. I feel like even I could develop a game like this. This is not hard. The edge of the world is there to there. There's no water, no lava, and it's littered with ads. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm gonna give this game a one star out of five. I mean, they got the graphics down, but nothing else. This next game is called Cube World 3D. Now, are there any cubes? And is there actually a world to explore? Isn't this what I just played? Wait, I have items here that I don't have to watch ads to get. I love how it says to close. Okay, this game doesn't even have sound. Oh, we can change the graphics. Graphics! Look at that! We have settings! It's just another creative mode game, but at least we actually have blocks that we can use, so let's make a cute little house, shall we? I like building houses because it gives a good baseline to what you can actually do in the game, but I don't really feel like you can do much in this one, to be honest, because there's not many blocks. There's no mobs. There's no sounds. It's just building, which fair enough, some people are into that, but you can't even fly. This is just building simulator. What can I put in my house? Oh yeah, I could put some bookcases in there. Can't have a bed though. Maybe I could make a bed. Yeah, I've got a bed. And I can decorate with a flower. What is this? This is my house, everybody. Yay! This game's terrible. Before I give this game a rank, I'm actually gonna look to see if this one has water or lava. Because if it does, I'll be impressed. The answer to that is no, and the edge of the world is also there. Right, so I'm also gonna give this game a one out of five, simply because it's the same as the last game. All you can do is build, but at least you get the blocks for free in this one. I'll give it that. This game is called Spiral Parkour, and it's meant to be like a Minecraft obby. It is giving Minecraft. I mean, it even has the Minecraft font. All right, which one should we play? I think let's go for the desert biome. Oh, I have a Minecraft Steve arm. Oh no, the sensitivity on this is awful. <laughs> What is going on? Can I change the sensitivity? Is that option? There's no options. This is it. This is my life. This is freaking terrible. Also, my mouse keeps going off the screen. Okay, let's try and do this. Gotta say, really here for the low resolution clouds. This does look like Minecraft. I don't hate this, actually. It's not the worst thing I've ever played. The camera just shifted and now I don't know which way I'm meant to be going. I'm very confused. I wonder what happens if I jump off the edge. Let's try it. Goodbye, cool world. Oh, you just start back at the beginning. I love how the arm is just there on the screen. It doesn't do anything. Make you really feel like you are Minecraft Steve. I was never really good at Minecraft parkour, but for some reason I'm great at this. Maybe this is my true calling. Oh, whoa, some tricky fence parkour there. How am I meant to do this? Do I get on top of the cactus? Yeah, you wouldn't be able to do that in actual Minecraft. Oh no! What the heck? It like glitched and then I fell. Honestly, if I was like 12 years old, I would probably sit and complete this. I don't hate this and I feel like I probably should, but it's not bad. I mean, it had a goal and that was to replicate Minecraft parkour and I feel like it did that. Okay, so I'm actually gonna give this game a three out of five. And you might be thinking I'm crazy for giving it such a high ranking, but like I said, it has a purpose and it fulfills that. It's meant to be Minecraft parkour and it is. Now we're gonna play Mine Pink Sheep. This is a really weird knockoff game. Here we are, presented with a red Minecraft sheet. And what do we do exactly? Oh, it's suddenly changed to pink. And um, we use the mouse to control where it goes. And it just goes up and up and we collect apples. This is the game, everybody. How do you even fail at this? Should I try jumping off the edge? <laughs> That's like my favorite thing to do. Let's try it. Oh, you just go around the other side. I feel like this is never gonna end. This poor sheep is perpetually stuck collecting apples. <laughs> Oh, wait, he did die. Rest in peace, little guy. I'm gonna give this game a two out of five. This game is entirely moved away from the word Minecraft and is actually called Infinity World of Cubes. Let's try it out. Whoa. What? 
the heck is this? This looks like a Minecraft resource pack I've once used. The blocks are so small. Look at them. They're tiny. I feel like if I fall into that hole, I'm never going to get back out. At least we have water in this game. And there's a blocks destroyed counter. I'm not hating it so far. But I could not tell you what any of these blocks do. Is this like a random block? Why is this just the eye of ender on repeat? Okay, we got TNT. Does it explode? It does! Okay, this is the most fun I've had in one of these games so far. Yay! Oh, look! We have ores! What the heck is going on? Maybe that's how I'm meant to teleport around this world. I'm just meant to throw an eye of ender. Why is it an iron ender and not an ender pearl? Or maybe it's just a graphics. I don't know. It looks like an eye of ender, but I think it's meant to be an ender pearl. Is there any options? Like, can I do anything else? Oh, I like how the textures line up, though. That is satisfying. But that's about it for this game. It's got nothing else going for it. Ta-da! This is my house that is somewhat underwater. And I can't decorate it with anything else because it's not giving me any more blocks. I wonder if the block counter works if you destroy your own blocks. It does. Oh my gosh, I found a hack to the system. We've got water, but do we have lava? Let's go on a little mission to find out. I somehow feel like we don't have lava. We can't see any above ground. What about underground? Just lay down loads of TNT. Oh, we are seeing different blocks down here. Oh my gosh, 20,000 blocks destroyed. Okay, we are officially at the bottom and I found no lava. Purely because of that, I'm gonna give this game a two out of five. If it had lava, maybe I would have given it a three, but it didn't. This game is called Block World. We've got survival or free play. I wanna go in survival mode. Whoa, I have two arms and a big fat purple body. Is that an animal? Oh my gosh, it's a sheep. It looks so concerned. Press E to collect. I can collect the sheep. Oh, what happened to him? Where did he go? Sir, I am so sorry. Oh, there's a bird. Oh, I think it's meant to be a chicken, actually. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, it's a little chicken. Let's collect him. I don't know where they go when you collect them, though. Is that a corn on the cob? Give that to me. Oh, no, it's turning into nighttime. I have a torch, like an actual flashlight. Do I have a normal torch too? I do, check that out guys. I got a normal Minecraft torch on the go and I've also got a flashlight. Do I have an inventory? Like how am I meant to go to the items that I've collected? No, I don't want to quit. Oh my gosh, look at this pig. He's so cute. I'm going to collect him. I don't get it though. Where's my inventory? What is the purpose of this game? There's no instructions on how to play it. You know what though? I will give this game one thing. It has day and night cycles, which is more than the other games had. And it also has mobs. I mean, you just really can't beat it, can you? I feel like this is the best one I've played so far. Well, you see, I said that and then the game crashed. That's not great. What about my animals? I love how derpy they are. Also, they don't move. I've just noticed that. They're just stationary. There is no life in those eyes. Look at this little piggy. Isn't he cute? Oh, what? He turned into a banana? That doesn't happen in Minecraft. Is that a cow? Yo, he has seen some stuff. If I didn't have Minecraft, I would believe that this was the real game. I mean, even the real Minecraft doesn't have bananas, okay? If anything, this is an upgrade. You know, minus the fact that it keeps crashing over and over again. I think it's probably the best one I played all day. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Welcome everybody to Solo Craft. Wait, there was another mode there. It said ultra realism. Whoa, look at this. This is crazy. This is better graphics than Minecraft. Let's switch to creative mode. What is this? Oh, I can place torches. This game is melting my brain. I don't understand how I can go to my inventory and like swap items about what? Oh, oh, I can find them here. Whoa, look at the water. That is realistic. Better textures than the actual Minecraft. Look at that, it's got ripples and everything. Wow, that is just beautiful. What happens if I go into it? Oh, can I swim? I can swim on top of it, but I can't go underneath. Yo, this is kind of crazy. I feel like this mode is not for me. We should go back to the other one it had. I like that it's got two modes. See, this looks more like Minecraft, doesn't it? And we already have buildings. 
We could just move into these. I don't need to build one. Where do I get in? I don't think it does. Maybe I have to make my own. Oh, there's one here. Can I add to this house? Because this house needs decorating. No, I can't. I can summon a deer. Yes, you shall be my friend. They don't do anything. They just stand there. What the heck? There's a deer on my head. Okay, we can switch mode. Creative mode. Yes, what is that? Number one. House. Can we just place houses? Is this a pre-built house template? It is, look at that. You know what, I love that. I wish you could do that in actual Minecraft, like get the blueprints and just plop them down in your world. I don't know how you place it though. There we go. Take a look at that. Oh gosh, the screen is flashing black. I don't know why. Maybe I've broken it. You know, I don't hate this game. Oh, that is not an instance mesh. This is a brick. And you don't even have to place stuff down straight. You can have it on angles. This is way better than Minecraft. Look at that, guys. Just how I wanted my house decorating. Why can we throw balls? What is happening? Ever needed a ball in Minecraft? Well, here you go. How do I summon the deer again? Oh, deers balls, number blocks, what else could you want from a game? Oh no, it just reloaded everything and got rid of my deer and ball house. The question is, does this world actually have lava? Let's fly around and see if it does, because if it does, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. It has water and the water is very beautiful. I can't see any lava though, it's making me sad. This is an injustice to lava. Is that TNT? Wait, there is lava, look. So I have lava, finally, and it's glorious. And it also moves, just like the real Minecraft lava. Don't think it sets fire to anything though. We should test it out. No, it doesn't burn stuff, but at least it's in the game. And you know what I said? I was gonna give this game a five out of five if it had lava, and it does. So that's what it's getting. Lava and animals is all I need in Minecraft. Anyway guys, that's where I'm gonna leave this video today. If you did enjoy it and you want to see another video from me, you can click on one of these and I'll see you over there.